Hello guys and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be showing you our decorated house for Halloween. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the outside decorations as well as the inside decorations. I love our decorations and they're nothing crazy, um, but I really do like them. And I thought I would show you guys too so you guys can see how we decorated the house but also to give you guys some ideas if you guys are wondering how to decorate for Halloween. Now, I am definitely in the spooky mood, as you can tell. I did my makeup today for Instagram and TikTok videos. And what I did is I did a wing eyeliner, but I did spider webs as the eyeliner. This is my first time ever doing it, so I know it's not the best, but now that I know I can kind of do it, I'm going to keep doing it and hopefully get better. But I'm really liking the makeup look today, and you definitely get the spooky vibes. And then, of course, I have my Halloween earrings on. I'm going to be wearing Halloween earrings for the rest of September and October. I hope you guys enjoy this video and enjoy our decorations, and thank you guys for watching. Okay, so starting off with the outside, I'm also going to be doing a day slash night version of our decorations because you see differences day and night. Starting off with our front yard, this is what we're working with. Again, I just want to say we are not professional, so some of you may like these decorations, some may not be your style, and that's okay. This is what we like. So, as you can see, I would say there's somewhat a lot going on. I'm gonna show the cats. We have these different versions of cats. We have five cats here, which we got these from Amazon. And as you can see, it looks like cats just roaming our yard. And the lights actually glow. So you see, that's why I'm doing a day and night version of these. We have these hands that look like they're coming out of the ground. So like maybe somebody's buried here. Now, in previous years, we have put like a tombstone behind these hands. But I think it was like a cheap tombstone, so it didn't last. Maybe we can still possibly do that. Maybe I'll go buy one or something. But for right now, these are the hands. And I like how it looks like by the tree because like if it's just in the middle, it'll kind of look weird. So I like how it looks by the tree. This one's kind of simple, but I do like it. I got this from the Dollar Tree and it's a little sign and it gives like the road names and these are spooky themes. So it says Boo Boulevard, RIP Road and Cemetery Circle. And I like how it says RIP Road because like our house is right at a dead end. So it's like perfect. That's our sign. It's, it's simple, but I like it. Now moving over here, as you can see, we have pumpkins, a dog, and a cat. I'm going to start off with these two hanging things on our tree. So this one is a pumpkin. This is a pumpkin that talks. Okay, so yeah, as you can see by the face, it is a creepy pumpkin and it's even creepier when it talks. It has only four fingers and I really like this one. We've had this for a while. I'm gonna try my best to say where we got all these from. We got this a while ago, so I can't remember if it was Big Lots or Home Depot, but um, I really like this one and I think you can pretty much get something like this at any store like Big Lots or Home Depot. Uh, yeah, I really like this one. And this one has been in the family for a couple years, so. This next one that we have is a new addition to our family. We just got him this year. If you saw my Halloween shopping video, you would know that we got Zero just last month and we got him at Spirit Halloween. Now it's this cute zero decoration. The only thing I have to say with these hanging things is that they turn and the wind pushes them a lot. And a lot of times they're facing the opposite direction. Oh well, 
I wish they would just stay. But anyways, look how cute Zero is. Everybody loves a Zero. And what a perfect way to greet the trick-or-treaters than by Zero. Now this Zero doesn't light up or anything, so this is all that it is. But I mean, so cute already, just by itself. So cute. And then this one right here is like a little minor decoration, but I like it. It's a bat and it's hanging on our tree so it kind of looks like it's flying. As for our inflatables, we have this pumpkin inflatable, which is not so tall. It's to my shoulder area, but it's super cute. It is a scary pumpkin. We've had this one for a couple years, so again, I, I don't remember where we got it, but I'm sure it was probably from Home Depot or Big Lots. The wind is kicking in right now. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like he's scared. But anyways, this is our inflatable, pumpkin inflatable. I really like him and he definitely adds a lot to our front yard, so he's perfect. And our pumpkin has been alone for quite some time now, so we finally got him some company. We just got this cat about a week ago. About a week ago. Week ago. <laughs> Never gets old. We got this cat and we got it from Big Lots. We had a little trouble with this one. The first cat that we got, it had a hole in it, so it did not inflate. Really like this one. It's like not too big. It like is a perfect size to go with this pumpkin. And I really like it. It's so cute. I like the position that it's in. It looks like it's ready to attack. I like the eyes. I like the teeth. And if you can kind of see, it has a light in there. So at night it glows. These have been in the family for about two or three years already, but we love these. We put these up every year. And I remember where we got these. We got these from Big Lots. Then over here hanging on our entryway, we have another witch, which actually speaks to, um, but she talks a lot. So we turned her off for the moment. Again, don't remember, but I'm pretty sure it was Home Depot. Um, but yeah, this is her. This is like a simple design, but honestly, it's like one of my favorites. I have this plant in our walkway and we got these little witch legs and we put it into our plant. So it looks like a witch fell into our plant. We got these witch legs from the Dollar Tree. This is like so cute. I can add another one to that plant over there. Right now, this is the entrance to our house. Well, this is the walkway leading to the doors. Um, so I'm pretty sure the first thing that you notice is the spider webs. We got these spider webs from the Dollar Tree. They're very hard to put up and they're very like sticky, like they stick to you a lot. I like it, um, but I would not want to use these again. I'd probably get them from somewhere else. I don't know if other stores are like this, but as for these, like they're, they stick to you. So like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You have to kind of see what I'm saying for yourself. But if you're gonna get spider webs, I would say probably from like Amazon or something. Um, cause like, I don't really like the Dollar Tree ones. Like it looks okay, but like setting it up was like, really like difficult and very sticky if you know what i'm saying came with these little rings um spider rings when you stick it in it looks like spiders crawling um only three came per pack which is not a lot so like it would be cool if like a bunch of spiders were like look like it was infesting this but and then it's cool because like you can use these afterwards i can give this to my little cousin um so that would be super cute i do like the spider webbing though this is our first time ever doing spider webs so i really like the idea of it and then over here we have more spider webs and then we have the three spiders and if you can tell i know it's daytime but we have some lights on this bush now we only have one set of lights 
so we put it on this bush i'm not sure if we're gonna get more lights i don't think so because like i already put the spider webs on there so i don't know how we're gonna do it put it on top that wouldn't look right like it has to go underneath the spider web so and then lastly this is our last bush that we have in our walkway and as you can see these spider webs are green they had different colors at the dollar tree and i we had a lot of white webbing so i wanted to do something different so i grabbed this green one maybe you don't like the green but i think it looks nice somebody let me know if the green looks good okay and now on to our doorway we have these two hanging signs which we got these from amazon it says trick or treat on the left side and then the right side it says it's october which is i really love this i feel like it's like just two little signs but it like adds so much to our entrance it's like perfect like i'm never ever ever gonna get rid of these like i love them down here we have these pumpkins uh, we have two on each side of the doors and then we have this sparkly spider on top so it looks like spooky and you can't miss our doormat it is chucky uh, we got this from spirit halloween here's chucky Woo -hoo -hoo. i love that that's like one of my favorite things that we have this year yeah i love the chucky it's already getting dirty as expected it is a doormat but and then we have this sign don't mind our sign it's a little slanted um this thing broke uh it broke because it's from the dollar tree Woohoo! it's a cute little sign it says happy halloween trick or treat this way um which yeah it's pointing to our doorbell so yeah if you want some candy ring the doorbell Woohoo! this is another um doorbell or you can ring that one actually this is a doorbell that we've had for a couple of years now we got this from big lots and wait hold on Who goes there? <laughs> yeah so that's everything that we have for outside now let's go inside all right so as soon as you walk in and you go to the left these are the doors you go to the left and we have this sign that says boot but to add some character to it we put the bats right next to it looks super cute without the bats it was kind of bare so i really like the bats and then over here is kind of simple this is something that we always have all year long um, but here we just have another sign that says boo. This is really old, so I don't know where we got it, but now over here to our cabinet area. This is like one of my favorite things. I say that about everything. Okay, never mind. I take that back. Everything is my favorite. This is like so cute. I love the way it turned out. We definitely want to switch that out because it just doesn't fit with the theme. I'm not sure if we're going to do it, but that's definitely something that we're going to look into obviously we have more bats so inside we have a theme going on with our bats which you will see more of in a little here we just have these little candle holders so we have a mummy and then we have this um what is that like like death or something jack the Re reaper i don't know I here we have a mirror which i got this this year at big lots and hold on And then I like this because we have these little spiders. Um, we have two of them and I like the placement of this one. It looks like it's crawling onto the mirror. We had some extra spider webs, so we just put it on here to make it look a little bit extra spooky. As for this little puppy right here, we got him from TJ Maxx, I believe. 
He's very sparkly um, and he's making the countertops very sparkly, but he's cute, so he makes up for it. We have another dog right here. So cute, they're little best friends and they're going trick-or-treating together. How cute. Another spider right here, which lost an eyeball. Uh, don't worry about that. That's just part of the spook factor. We have this candle holder, which we got from Bath and Body Works. And in there, we just put this candle in here. Now on to our dining table. We have this runner, spider webs, and then we also put some spider webs again on top of it. We crafted this all ourselves, so I hope you guys like it. Um, I think we did a pretty good job. Under the spider webs, we have these candles, which looks really cool when it's lit up. We have these pumpkins, these sparkly pumpkins. And then we just like placed all these bones around the runner. We have this spider, which looks super cute. That's the big spider that's in charge. Like I said, with the spider uh, webs from the Dollar Tree, it came with these little spider rings. We just placed them around. Um, and then this is our main witch. Uh, we got her from Home Goods, I think. Not 100% sure, but um, she is beautiful in a scary witchy kind of way. And it like matches too because like we have bones right here and look what she's stirring in her cauldron bones so it like is perfect up here on our chandelier we just added some webbing there to make it look spooky here we just have some more bats yeah i really 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 like this most of this stuff we got from the dollar tree so like the pumpkins, the spider, the spider webs, these bones. We got that all from the Dollar Tree. This spider runner for the table we got from Amazon. Okay, now if you look up, we just have this simple Halloween string and it has spiders, a pumpkin, and a ghost. And although it's simple, I do like it. And then if you go up a little bit, we have this thing across our rail. And if you look closely, it's purple and it has spiders on it. And we got that from the Dollar Tree. All right, we are now in the living room and I'm gonna start off with this area. So in here, we just have a bunch of pumpkins. These are our decorations that we have had for a very long time and we kind of just put it all in here. I'm sorry, I don't remember where any of this is from because this has been around since I was very young, so how would I possibly know? We have these cute pumpkins, which if you can see, they are sparkly and they're different colors. So some are orange, some are black, and all of them have that sparkle. And then this one is a glass pumpkin, which is super cute. This one is so cute. I love these type of glass pumpkins. And then we also have some more sparkly pumpkins. These ones are a little bit smaller than these. These are full glittery pumpkins, so. And then back here, I think my brother made this for like elementary school or something like that. We just have this pumpkin. Not sure what it is, maybe like a candle or something. And then we have this one back here, which says Happy Halloween. And then it has a ghost, a spider, and some pumpkins. And then we have this witch. And then we have, this is another candle holder, but um, it's not lit up. Now, as for this string. So if you're sitting here watching some TV, you got this string that goes from that side to this side. Not much to say, I, I, I really like this. Now moving on to our mantle. So as you can see, we have a theme going on inside, um, which are the bats. 
Now with these bats specifically, I wanted to have these bats look like they're coming down because if you notice, all our other bats around the house are facing the opposite way, like they're flying up. But I wanted these to be facing this way so it looks like they're diving into this spooky mantle. It would be so cool if we had a spooky Halloween-y painting to go right there but we don't so as for now that one is going to have to do it's a little bit too happy and springish in my opinion but there's still some time maybe eventually i'll get a painting or something i just feel like that would like totally finish off this mantle area this part of the room is definitely something that looks a lot better at night Right now, you're just gonna have to see the daytime. So we have this spider thing that's just drooping on our mantle. Looks very spooky, I love it. We got this spider thing off of Amazon. These are just our regular candles that we have. Um, I love these candles because it literally goes with anything. So you can have these during springtime and it works. You can decorate it for Halloween. You can add some stuff around it and it looks like it's for Halloween. And you can put some Christmas decorations around it. Like it literally works all year round. You don't light them up with a candle. Um, so you just have this remote and it turns it on and off. And it has this option, a six hour timer. So you see what I'm saying? Like, it, like you can decorate it any way, any time of the year and it will fit in perfectly. Like it's not just strictly for Halloween, strictly for Christmas. Like it works all year round. So yeah, this is another candle holder, but we don't have a candle in there. And then for these little skeleton heads, like such a cute little addition, like it really ties this whole mantle together. I love it. We got these from the Dollar Tree and it was like $1.25 for eight of these. So not too bad. They're small, but like it, like, you see what I'm saying? Like it works perfectly. And then we just have this glass pumpkin and a ghost on top. This is another thing that lights up, um, but it's super cute. It's like right in the middle of these two candles. And then you go right over here and then we just have the same thing. Our two candles, the pumpkin and skeleton heads wrapped around. And then the last thing we have on our mantle is this vase and inside the vase it has lights so it lights up at night okay i'm gonna tell you guys a little secret okay this is our candle for christmas but we decided to bring it out for halloween and we added these little stickers pumpkin spiders leaves these are the ones that you just stick on to the windows but we put it on the vase and it works perfectly so this is our mantle Alrighty, now moving on to our kitchen. Our kitchen doesn't have too much going on, but I'm gonna show you the stuff that we do have. So in the kitchen, we have a lot of these stickers onto our windows. We got all of the stickers from the Dollar Tree. This one is super cute. It says, Happy Halloween. But now that I'm looking at it, it looks a little bit small, but that's okay. Not a big issue. And then over here, we have the words boo. And then we have these monsters. We have a bat. And then we have some candy corn. And then again, we have more bats going on. And then lastly, over here, um, the window that's looking out to the backyard, we have some more stickers. We have more bats, just three more. And then over here, hanging, we have a crow. And this one actually lights up too. Turn back. There's danger ahead. And then going over here up the stairs again, we have this on the railing, um, but this one's a bit different. This one is black and it has a skull's head on it. And then right here we have more bats. Then on this one, this one is orange and it is a pumpkin. Okay, now we are upstairs and this is 
our door to the restroom and I got this door cover from the Dollar Tree and it's supposed to be like scary so it says beware spooky enter if you dare then right here it has some bony hands it doesn't look the best but I I do like it I like stuff over the door so I think it looks pretty cool Okay, now lastly, this isn't Halloween decorations, but I wanted to show this. Zeus is like, give it to me. I got Zeus some Halloween toys, and usually I don't get, hey, 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 holiday themed toys for Zeus, but this year I decided to do it because I'm so excited for Halloween, so Zeus is so excited for Halloween. So this is the first one that I got. Comes with a squeak, and ready? Zeus, be nice. <gasps> Zeus, where's your toy? Zeus, toy! <coughs> Zeus, you like your toy? You like your toy? I think he likes it. And then I also got these because I was so obsessed with the Halloween toys, dog toys that they had. So I was like, I can't get just one. I'm going to get multiple. We have an audience right there. They're looking at the toys. You want it? So I got this one. It's orange and then it says boo and it has ghosts on it. And it came with this set, a bone and a ball. Both of them squeak. Um, so this is the ball. And then this is the bone. Again, it squeaks. Zeus, ready? Be nice. Oh, 